All right, it's time to catch you guys up with our Panthers CFM. We currently sit at 11 and two heading into our game against T Hammer in week 15. The last time I saw you guys was pretty early on in the season. We had some big time signature wins over some great players in Pavin as well as David T. We actually took our first loss of the season in week six to the Minnesota Vikings. This was really the game where I decided I needed to trade my really fast DBs. 99 speed Barnes and 97 speed Dante Jackson were getting fried literally by nobodies. Robert Fox Foster is like a 70 something overall receiver with no abilities, like 93 speed. And he had Barnes in an actual blender. So it was at that point where I was like, all right, I'm making a trade. We need to turn things around. So we're going to make a big time blockbuster trade with the Los Angeles Chargers here. We're going to give them a superstar punter in Hecker. We're giving up our 99 speed corner, Kalon Barnes, and our 96 speed corner, Dante Jackson, who have been incredibly underwhelming so far this season. We're actually going to go ahead. We're going to pick up Mike Williams, an incredible tight end, 89 speed, six foot four. Been so good for us in other leagues. Zion Johnson, another superstar guard. And we also pick up superstar 94 speed Deanne Leonard. Not as good as those other guys, but still very solid. We won some more games. We actually took a fair sim loss against the Cardinals, which hurt. I really wish I was 12 and one right now. I feel like we're super deserving of that. Unfortunately, not the case, which is going to be incredibly difficult considering the fact that we have to play T Hammer, who is a playoff contender here in week 15. Then we take on Henry, the number one Madden player in the world. We have to play Pavin again, and then we play Henry again. So our next four out of five games, or four out of four games, are going to be against very good competitors. I don't know how many of these games we can actually win. You guys can still see here that Pavin and Henry are still in it. So three representatives from the South, which is pretty crazy. The fourth guy, the Falcons, who I told you guys was probably gonna be a free win, actually quit literally before the season even started. He saw Henry, Pavin, and me in a division and said, no thanks. I don't even want the refund, I'm out of here. But the first player currently out of the playoffs is Dusty, the Vikings, the eight and five Minnesota Vikings. If he was able to win out, we lost three out of four of our next games. We could potentially lose the head-to-head -head tiebreaker with him, which would obviously be really bad. Like we wouldn't make the playoffs. And we actually do have some really exciting things. We had a breakout player last week with Brian Burns against the Falcons. It was an X factor game for Brian. That's actually going to transfer over to this game. We also have a message about a breakout teammate. We actually had two X factor games last week. DJ Moore was another one of them. So again, we have a chance to run that back this week, get him to X factor, which I'm not going to go out of my way to do. If we get there, we get there. I'm just worrying about winning the game. Now we do have some big time upgrades. We have a lot of upgrades. It's been a couple weeks since we've actually played against a human. Miles Hartsfield, one of our users here, 92 speed. He's been solid for us. I mean, what, what more can you really ask from a guy who is a 68 overall? 5'11", so a bit on the short side. This is an upgrade I'm really excited about right here. Colin Kaepernick is going up to an 85 overall strong arm, meaning he gets his fourth ability slot. He's Well, actually, I guess he already had that, but now he gets Gunslinger, which is huge for us. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna change his abilities here. We're throwing Fearless in the third slot, immunity to defensive pressure while in the pocket. And then we have Gunslinger, which is an improved version of that pass lead elite. It's gonna help a lot on those deep passes. We also get an upgrade here with Robbie Anderson, who has been so so, so good for us this season, going up to an 86 overall. Give me some more speed, man. We got some early on the season. Unfortunately, not the case here. Jeremy Chin gets an upgrade, our other user. I've been torn on zone, hybrid, and run support. You guys have told me that hybrid might be the move, but I think run support, I think run support is the way to go. I have gotten speed upgrades here, unfortunately. Unfortunately not this time around, Jeremy Chan is already really fast though. Ikum Aquanu is going up to an 80 overall, which I think unlocks his second ability slot. Let's actually go ahead and check that. Plus three awareness. We do. Okay, Ikum Aquanu here. I'm going to go with the threat detector ability. It tells us if my opponent is blitzing on third and fourth down. Now, JC Horn gets an upgrade here. We always go with the slot, man. The slot has been so good to us so far this season. Plus one speed for JC Horn. There it is, man. The six foot one star, 94 speed. That is such a huge upgrade. Gonna help us massively down the stretch here. Another big upgrade, Deanne Leonard. Deanne, Deanne Leonard. Not very good at pronunciation. You know, I'm a bit better at, at throwing dots and, and you know making adjustments on defense than I am at pronouncing names, but he actually goes up to a 70 overall. You know, again, he came over in that trade with the Chargers. That actually means he unlocks the Acrobat in the first slot. The ability we want, the ability I need, and our last notable upgrade here is none other than Christian McCaffrey, who's been so good for us as well. We're going with receiving back, already a 99 overall. 
catching traffic short route running will definitely take it we're gonna need some big games from christian mccaffrey here down the stretch all right so t hammers roster obviously the centerpiece is josh allen one of the best quarterbacks in the game he's got the wheels he's got the throw power he's got all the abilities at running back, he's got 94 speed. Rookie out of Georgia, James Cook. Actually looks kind of nasty. Stephon Diggs here with X-Factor. Gabe Davis. Uh, his, his receivers really aren't that good. He doesn't have any burners. You know, Diggs at 92 speed is respectable. He's got the abilities. But outside of that, not really a lot here. Dawson Knox is going to be solid at tight end. If we take a look at his secondary, he's got Trey White with 92 speed. Uh, Kair Elam, the rookie out of Florida, 6'2", 91 speed, X-Factor, looks really good. Micah Hyde with abilities, again, kind of slow though. And then Jordan Poyer. So not a lot of speed with his wide receivers or his secondary. That is the downside to the Bills. We're just going to have to contain Josh Allen, keep him in the pocket, make him make reads, make him earn this win if he's able to do it. All right, boys, here we go. We're in Buffalo, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm definitely lagging. I hate input delay. I mean, I'm so excited to move to the middle of the country. I'm actually moving to Oklahoma in about three weeks. So um, I'll have some videos ready for you guys. So there won't be like a big delay. It'll take a few days to drive there, get everything set up. So no more than a week. Um, again, I'll have some videos for you guys, but I'm excited for that because now I won't have to worry about input delay, which is just absolutely miserable, especially living on the West Coast. I mean, there's not a lot of Madden players that, that really live on the West Coast. Going over top here, DJ Moore, perfect dot. Kaepernick, he's got some wheels, man. Big time scramble up to the 12. Happy man coverage. I'm taking off off the middle. I'm going for it, Colin Kaepernick. Come on, kid. Johnson ain't tackling you. Get in there. Let's go, Colin. Tackles, there you go, come on. He doesn't like this 2 4 5 odd defense. I know he's going to try to run the ball a lot. A lot of no huddling, a lot of flips, all that stuff. Um, I'm ready for it, though. It's a good dot. We had a guy in the area. He got, like, a pretty wild underthrow, which kind of helped him a bit, but it's fine. Oh, we got to make that tackle right there. Come on now. Ah, JC Horn, 94 speed, got the speed upgrade, but not enough. I ran some mass coverage right there. All the crossers kind of mess it up. It makes it very, very obvious what he's doing defensively. Like right here, five-man man blitz. Really not surprising. We actually have circle Robbie Anderson wide open. Jo Jordan Poyer getting the pressure, though. Third and 15. Going to need a dot right here. Just a little completion right there. Makes it a fourth and manageable. Long coverage, Christian McCaffrey. I knew the motion would mess him up. I knew it would mess him up. Christian McCaffrey, that is a big time completion. We definitely didn't want to turn the ball over that early in the game. Motion out, messed up the man, and uh, we're in the end zone. Gonna run commit. Pretty obvious. Oh, okay. I was gonna give him the touchdown. He doesn't want to take it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep run committing. I knew that play was coming too. I really did. That was such a huge mistake from him. Literally a terrible mistake from him. Back on. There you go. Come on now. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't take his in route. He actually kind of tested Jeremy Chin right there. Gonna run commit again. That's honestly fine with me. Just, you know, we get the ball back here. 27 seconds. A lot of time. We got him clicked on. It sh should be a touchdown. Robbie! Robbie with the catch! No, I accidentally jumped. I tried to jump to avoid the tackle to get out of bounds. We, that was probably a touchdown. It just registered so late because of the input delay. What a crazy catch from Robbie, though. We definitely needed that one. But that was super unfortunate. I can't lie because that should have been a that should have been a touchdown, and I just completely messed it up. My fault. My fault.
Problem is, like, I don't know if I can make this. Like, everything feels really, really slow right now, and I have no kick meter. And the, the wind's going seven miles an hour. It was accurate. All right, it's going to be good. That was definitely super sketchy. I don't know why sometimes I can't see my kick meter. He doesn't have the momentum, but a good half. I mean, we take the lead. Oh, my God. He might mess up. He might mess up. Oh, wow. Bro, that ball's got to stop rolling. Didn't think he was going to run there. I mean, he did a ton of audibles. Nine rushes for 23 yards. I mean, I feel like that's just something you got to live with now. Wow. Four people there, and he gets in. Oh, man. My chair I almost just fell out of my chair. Good news is I feel like he's working way harder than we are. It's a beautiful pass. Robbie Anderson in the end zone. Come on, man. What a drive right there, K-Mac. What a drive. Yes, sir. Come on, Barno. Or is that Brian Burns? Let's go. Come on. Wow. Run? Okay. Perfectly fine with me. He ran on third and 18? Bro, you can't beat me playing like this. Come on now. I feel like that's so disrespectful. I feel like that's so disrespectful, is it not? He just gave me full control of this game when honestly I wasn't in a very comfortable position. I mean, Robbie Anderson, buddy. Do you want to get cut? What is going on here? We'll just go right back to it the next play up to the six. Come on now. Wow, wheel route wide open. Bad throw. Oh, we got a score here, boys. It's a good tackle. We're going to have to. You know, I mean, we don't have to go for it, but it's a tough decision, man. I feel like, I feel like we just go. Took a risk right there. I actually thought we were getting underneath the zone, but I actually think what happened right there is he sent his nearest defender at the quarterback, afraid that I was going to scramble. And right as he sent him, we threw the football. It just happened to be perfect timing for us. Like he's just he's playing not to lose this game. You know, he's playing not to lose, and it's going to lose him the game. I don't know why those runs are so effective right now. Thought he might do that again. That is utterly ridiculous. Total bullshit, but it's the game we play. And they gave me some phantom offsides. And he just throws it right to me. Just disgusting. And I just trip. Nice drive. Just awesome, man. That was real clinical right there. All right, 102, no timeouts to get into field goal range. Again, it's going to be hard. I didn't have a kick meter for some reason last time. I don't know why that is, so that's something we certainly have to take into account here. Good start. Christian McCaffrey up to the 37. That's beautiful. Come on. Oh, we got him messed up. We have him messed up right now. Come on. Get out there. Touchdown. Wow. Wide open. Uh, I mean, there wasn't a defender within 30 yards. Holy smokes. Great read under pressure, K-Mac. Beautiful read under pressure, baby. Ah. 
actually really surprised he wouldn't call a timeout here. There he goes. Come on, nice completion. I really wanted to try my fade right there. I'm glad I didn't. We pick up the first down. See, run commits there. He needs another timeout. Again, I don't want to kick from here. I really don't. I'm actually really surprised that he would run commit. Not the case. Now this will be ice, and again, with with everything considered, it, it won't. I'm I'm a little scared. I'm gonna be honest. Even from this distance, I really am. I honestly thought about faking it because it would be really funny. I mean, I can't see the kick meter at all. A little close. I mean, I literally can't see it. I couldn't see it the whole game. I don't know if that's like a stadium thing or what, but. I mean, we take home the three-point victory. That was definitely a sweaty one right there. We'll, uh, we'll take it. I feel like we played pretty well. We definitely played really well. Again, we're not guaranteed for the playoffs, even, even with this record. If we lose all three games, we could be knocked out. So we got to keep fighting. It's not done. All right, guys. Welcome back to week 16 of our Panthers CFM series. The time has finally come. We are playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are 10-4. We're not just playing a good opponent in our division. Not only are we fighting for a playoff spot, we are playing the number one ranked Madden player in the world. Obviously, no one else but him can say that. He's a two-time belt winner this year. He made probably three or four hundred thousand dollars. He made more than a doctor, a surgeon playing Madden in a single year, which is absolutely insane. So obviously, he's very good. And we're still fighting for a playoff spot. Even though we are 12 and two atop the NFC South right now, there's a chance we don't make the playoffs. We do have some weekly awards from last week against T Hammer. It's Colin Kaepernick, 15 for 23, 325 passing yards and four total touchdowns. He played incredible for us. He actually just got Gunslinger as well, going up to an 85 overall. There's really no excuses left for our team. Like we really have everything that we want. We do have some upgrades here. Actually, no, we don't. None of these guys play. I'll go ahead and auto upgrade them. All right, so Bucks roster. I'm interested to see what Henry has done with his team. Tom Brady is obviously the quarterback at running back. Leonard Fournette, 92 speed, has the ability to run some people over. So it looks like he hasn't done a lot. Obviously, Henry is a great Madden player. Probably hasn't played too much CFM, so he doesn't go crazy with the trades like Wesley did, who is the Bucks and our Lions CFM. Although, I mean, he doesn't really need to. The Bucks are very well balanced. Mike Evans, 92 speed Chris Godwin, and the 95 speed superstar Scotty Miller. At tight end, he's got, uh, hmm, interesting, Ko Kief out of Minnesota, and then Damian Willis with 89 speed. No Gronk, no OJ Howard. The offensive line is obviously going to be very good. Don't even have to look at that. Sean Murphy, Bunting, superstar, 93 speed. Kendall Sheffield, 94 speed. Zion McCollum, the rookie out of Sam Houston. X Factor, 98 speed, six foot two. That is actually insane. One of the best DBs in the game, AJ Terrell, six foot one, 94 speed superstar. He's got Obi Melifonwu, the user. That, wait, since when does Obi look like that? When does he, like, huh? I don't remember one, Obi ever having a picture, and two, him looking like that, unless I'm tripping. Jamal Dean, 94 speed superstar, Tankersley, so, so much speed in his secondary. He's obviously got Tom Brady, some very good receivers, a great offensive line as well. All right, with that being said, let's get after it, boys. Come on, let's move on to 13 and two. Wow. Good defense right there. Thought we could scramble again. Mm, we go with the uh, go with the crosser. Get stopped on the very first drive. Not ideal. Just not in a rhythm, boys. Got to get in a rhythm early on. That's not the way to do it. Uh, really good pocket right there. Uh, it's hard to step up in this game. He climbs the pocket really, really well. Didn't have a great user. 
Got pressure at the very last second, but obviously not enough. All right, not a great start, man. Not a great start. Wow, they give us a really tough break right there. Man, we are not blocking well at all. It's definitely a big difference in the game right now. He is just getting unbelievable pressure right now. We're not really getting anybody in. Wow. Listen, we didn't get off to a very good start in this game on the first drive, but that is an absolute dot. And I mean, that's just... It was just wide open. I mean, I, we, we got really unlucky right there. There's no other way to put that one, I'm going to be honest. We got super cheated right there. That was rough. Just uh, tilt tackling right there. That's just really frustrating, man. Getting screamed at, man. I mean, I can't block anything. Can't get the ball off. Even if I do, those guys are jumping everything. Zacrobat almost goes absolutely crazy again. Going up top there, just trying to dunk on him, just trying to get big plays. That's really all we can do. We're already down two stops, got to just pick up the pace as quickly as possible. No way he gets that ball off. Come on, man. That was perfect defense. Great defense. I don't know what he's throwing, man. There was nothing open. He might have been throwing a book. I mean, that's just perfect D again, man. Oh, it's just perfect, perfect defense. That's a pick. Oh, come on. That's a hard flat. Come on, bro. Come on. That's really good. That's a good play. Just good pocket. Oh, man. Good D. Come on, fumble. Come on, man. It's Tom Brady taking a hit. Come on, Brian. Fumble. Come on. I mean, Brady takes back-to-back -back hits. Cough it up one time. It's a fumble six. Wow. Oh, I, I always made up the tight end. For some reason, I just didn't do it right there. I, you, I saw with my user. I just couldn't get back there in time. I'm going to need a lot of breaks. Really haven't gotten too many so far. I did have one pretty lucky ad catch. But I need more than that, man. I need more than that against a player this good. Slow dot right there, baby. Come on. We leave him in no time, too, which is perfect. <sighs> all right. Down six and a half. I mean, he does get ball, but it's not all bad. We played pretty decent defense last drive. We had some opportunities to get off the field. Just couldn't do it, unfortunately. But we'll get one stop. We'll get one stop. Bumble, pick it up. No way, man. Oh, come on, bro. Wow. Another tight throw. Tackling's been just abysmal. All right, down 12, a lot of time left. He's really just trying to milk this game. Oh, it's gonna be a touchdown, come on, man. Come on, man.
All right, down four. Hey, say what you want, but we've had a ton of fight this game. You know, just got off to a bad start. Had a really bad first drive, got a little bit unlucky in the second drive, but we've been playing really well since then. But it doesn't mean anything if we can't get a stop right here, man. Come on. Too much time. Sent the little blitz right there. Second and short's bad for us, man. Got to get in, boys. Hard flat just doesn't do anything, man. Oh, my God. Just... Mm, what a frustrating game. Literally just milking from the first quarter. Oh, man. I don't know. If he was bullet passing that, we might have had a nice little lurk right there. Oh, man. It's just Milk City. Just run, 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 run. Check down, check down, check down. Not a lot I can do against that man. I'm really trying. Trying to send pressure and play super underneath. And he's just playing uh, super conservative. GG's. I mean, that's just tough, ain't that? I just ran commit and he just got... He just walked through the line. I shifted to the side he was running to. I ran commit and it just didn't matter. GG's, man. Definitely had our chances too. Definitely had our chances. Just couldn't make it happen, unfortunately. Oh, psych. You thought. You thought. Jeremy Chin. Come on, man. Light him up. I don't know why he wouldn't kneel the ball out. I don't know why he wouldn't kneel it out. I'm going to be honest. I wish I could tell you. We got a chance now, don't we? Ooh, under pressure and accurate. We had the crosser there. Wish we had a better animation right there. Could probably get out of bounds. Mike Williams out of bounds. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Good route. 34 yard line. Come on. Wow, we drop a wide open pass with our highest rated receiver. That was such a dot too. Oh man, that's a tough one, dude. I feel like that was wide open. What are you gonna do about it though? GG's. Another day, another dollar, baby. Tough game, man. Definitely had an opportunity to win it. DJ Moore's just got to catch that football. He just he just absolutely has to. Unfortunately, he didn't right there. Go ahead. Move on to week 17. 12-3. and three. Again, it's a tough game against Pavin, but I'm ready for the challenge, man. All right, boys. We're right back at it. I literally just lost to Henry three minutes ago. Pavin's ready. They advanced the week. We're the last game. I want to win the division, man. We beat Pavin already this season. I feel like I kind of got Pavin's number right now. You know, I've been beating him the last couple months we've been playing. You know... He used to beat me a lot before that, but I've kind of figured him out a little bit since then. But obviously, none of that really matters, man. Obviously, none of that really matters. We can't afford to get mad after the last game. We got to lock in here. We got to play well. If we win this game, we can win the South. So let's lock in, baby. Come on. Christian McCaffrey. I wish he was a little bit faster, a bit more acceleration. We might have been out of there. Mike Williams? Run him over? Mike, come on, baby. Mike had a big game for us against Henry, man. A big reason why we were able to fight in that game. Almost take down the dub, and I mean, he's showing you why right now, ain't he? I gotta make a read there, man. Something had to be open. I think it was probably the tight end. Just try to get a little too cute in the pocket. Just throw the ball away, I think, there. Holy smokes, Cam Jordan just went crazy. Oh, we got off to such a good start, and I just just played terrible in the red zone right there, trying to get a little bit too cute. Let's kick our three here. We'll play good defense. We'll play good defense. Just got to score. Got to get points every time. We need to convert in the red zone as well, but I'm okay. If you want to run the ball every play, that's all you, man. I'm not, not worried about that. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go get him, boys. Come on now. Running back wheel. I mean, I have a cloud there. Just drop back too far. Arno. Perfect defense, man. Come on. Great defense, man. Come on. Great defense, Derek Brown. That is field goal range, but, I mean, it's not easy in regs, man. All these pro players, they're used to the slow kick meter. Brian Burns. Pry Jr. Take it to the crib, Pry Jr. I'm the king of blocking kicks. I swear to God I am. I swear I'm the best kick block. Who blocks kicks? Period. You see how many times I've done this? Bro, you better kick it accurately, man. Come on, baby. 10 nothing. Yes, sir. Miles Hartsfield. Miles Hartsfield. Pick six. Woo! We need an acrobat, bro. We need an acrobat of Miles Hartsfield, man. That, whoo, that was close. That was almost a pick. We had a man up. I'm okay with that. One timeout, 24 seconds. Seemed like him scoring was kind of inevitable there anyway. I decided to run commit for the first time. Inevitable. SAT order of the day right there, boys. We have a 10-point lead. Now he does get ball at a half, so not in a beautiful spot here. Definitely in a good one. If we could get some type of points here before half, that would be huge for us. Completion, man. That's big. Come on. Not that far from field range. About 20 yards here, maybe. I might be able to get seven out of this. Got him clicked on again here. Got time for probably two shots at the end zone. Just can't get tackled in bounds here. What a beautiful dot in the wheel route, man. We take the risk. It pays off. Try to mess him up a little bit with all the motions there. 24 to 7. Now he does get ball. So if we can just make him work down the field, we should put ourselves in a pretty good spot in the second half. Defense was weird there. Like, I flipped and no one flipped and eight people came free, but no one got in really. And that was just an interesting experience there, wasn't that? Knock it out. Oh, man. Hmm, man. Almost got to turn over that drive. Way too easy on that last play. All right, up nine. Got to just take some time off the clock here, really. Oh, I shouldn't have juked. He had... Even worse tackling than I've had today. Actually, probably could have just sprinted down the sideline to the left. Might have been out of there. Oh, my God. That would have been the stick clip of the year. Wow. Lattimore, I'm pretty sure it was in a hard flat right there. At least it seemed like it. All right, boys. I'm gonna play a little coverage here on third and ten. Oh, what a what a little route right there, Chris Olave, the rookie. Nice catch. It's great defense. It's great defense. Come on, come on, Barno. Oh, we gotta get that sack right there, Shaq Thompson. Make him play, young man. Don't break the tackle, too, man. Oh, I got stuck on my outside corner. It was... I knew a play was coming. We had perfect adjustments for it. I just completely messed up, man. Pick. Thank you. That wasn't open. Man, he made a mistake right there. Chris Rustry. Chris... What? Why did I just talk like I have a list? What is going on with me? Chris Westry, the 6'4", low overall, speedster, making a really nice play for us. I kind of knew exactly what was coming right there. We made perfect adjustments, nothing really open. Uh, there still is quite a bit of time here, so we got to just make sure we manage this clock well. 
We had a touchdown there to square, but Cam Jordan, not uh, not interested. Doesn't care. Doesn't care that I had a touch. Wide open. Dot. Oh, Mike, get out of there. That's uh, that's a really nice pass, man. It's a great pass. He's been just going to that tight end wheel over and over again. I probably should be manning it up, but I'm just being a little too lazy right now. Now, barring some sort of miracle, we should be all right here. He's going to do it. DJ Moore, hands team, baby. G, geez, we're going to take our knees. That's a big win for us, boys. That is a massive, massive victory. Week 18, we're taking on Henry, man. We get the rematch, the rematch we wanted, the rematch to win the division. Couldn't, couldn't ask for much more than that. We take on the number one Madden player in the world to win the division. That's kind of crazy, isn't that? Hey, Gigi Sapavin, though, really awesome player. We'll probably play again in the playoffs, I would imagine so.